All right, let's watch this one. It's about celebrities being a uh, cringe, being being a uh, cringe when evil. Can you fart so hard your balls explode? Yes, I can. Yes, I can. Thank you, Big Mommy Panda Forty Two, for the three months. Welcome, uh, Henry, uh, Henrietta, Henrietta, Henrietta. One of those. Celebrities are well known for thinking they're better than the average person. Up, up. But what happens when these same celebrities hold this same attitude towards cops? Here are three shocking examples of when celebrities get the ultimate reality check. Starting with the. Wait, hold up. Is bro okay? Jack, starting with the case of Farron Sally. On the 15th of December, 2018, Ooh. police it, pulled over a vehicle. Does it say what they're famous for? On the 15th of December, the case of... A Florida news anchor. You're going to have an ego about being a news anchor? Farron Sally. On the 15th Hold of up. December, 2018, <clears throat> police pulled over a vehicle driven by Florida news anchor Farron Sally. When the cop realized who she was, he figured she'd be helpful and respectful. But he was about to get a huge reality check. Hello, miss. Hi. Officer Carter, Palm Beach Gardens Police Department. The reason why I'm pulling you over is because you're actually driving with no taillights. Huh. I believe you're only driving with your daytime driving lights on. And yep, they're completely off. There you go. Can I see your license registration proof insurance, please? What's wrong? You. Why? I don't feel like being pulled over. I'm sorry? I don't feel like being pulled over right now. Okay. My phone is not. Well, you're not the one driving without lights on, so. Yeah, well, you're the one. You know what? When a cop pulls me over, I wonder if I told him I'm just not feeling it right now. If he'd just be like, oh, shit, I didn't know you were chill like that. Yo, you're chill like that? Hold up. You're good, man. You're good. You're, you're, oh, hold up. <laughs> you're having a bad day? Oh, what? Oh, dude, I get it. I get it. I get it. You know what? Go on your merry way. We're cool. No worries. You think that would work, guys? <clears throat> Pulling me over right now. Yeah, it's my job. Yeah, well, okay, so you see my phone right now. So. Okay. How much have you had to drink tonight, ma'am? Yeah, the main I've had one drink, drink tonight. Okay. All well, of this going on up here is what's causing me the most physical discomfort. I love how Markiplier's ass was in my face. Um, I don't. Pretty strong what? smell coming off your off your breath. I don't care what you have to say. And it's not just the smell giving it away either. Farron's speech is also slurred, her attitude is far from perfect, and overall she just seems sluggish. And when a cop nah. notices a driver is acting this way, they just have to investigate further. Something Farron is clearly not pleased about. Carver, Got she him. roll her window up. Got him. Howdy, I believe you are impaired. Like to run some roadside sobriety tasks on you, make sure you're gonna be good to drive, okay? Absolutely, okay. I think I'm just fine to drive, sure. We've already seen a huge amount of uh -oh. entitlement from the news anchor, but it's uh -oh. actually just a fraction of what's to come. It picks up as the field sobriety tests begin, as she clearly believes that this is completely unnecessary. What did you mean by I have enough, or I have what I need right now? What does that mean? It means that I know that I'm capable of driving. Okay. I know that I'm a responsible citizen, and I know that however many cops it is that you have right now, are unnecessary for the task that you are privileged with at this moment. Okay. Dude, she's newscasting him right now. Someone cooked here. <laughs> That's a good one. That's a good one. But like, she's literally newscasting at the guy right now. This has been an unnecessary, this is a very unnecessary situation here for us now. As you see here, I am perfectly capable of driving this car, but if you really, really want to do some tests on me, I would happily accept as I am a great citizen. Like, it's like, like she's, she's newscasting the dude right now. All right, come stand over here. You uh, back to you, begin. Bob. Go ahead and begin. May I turn around now? 
I like I instructed you. <laughs> Alrighty. What kind of place is this? Investigation. Come over here. Can you step out here, some? Uh, do I need to walk the line as I step No, just, st just step just... out here. We're done with the line. All right, just check okay. it. Hey. I appreciate you checking, okay? Absolutely, Mr. Carver. Farron is clearly being facetious here and trying to skirt the oh line of God. disrespect, but moments later, <clears throat> she decides to take it just a step further. I want to know okay. what I can do to end this public humiliation at this point. It's not public humiliation. Uh, I'm, I'm over here conducting you know a DUI investigation. Well... Here's what I'm gonna ask of you. Mm -hmm. Oh! Can we go to a side street? I am a public figure. Okay. I find this very publicly humiliating. Now we'll continue whatever it is that you need us to do. I'm sorry. But I I'm cannot, asking. I that... cannot take you to another location. Okay. okay. Well, it was sorry. worth a try because we're on PGA do you, Boulevard do you want... and I am a public we're, figure. We're, we're not on PGA Boulevard. Okay. We're close enough to it, darling. Oh, you stand over here. Just oh my god, that is, dude, what a, oh my god. That's the most belittling shit you can do. I'm a private figure. <clears throat> should I, you know what, should I start doing that? I could pull that. I could pull that, right? Uh, could I pull that card if I get arrested? Roll down the window. It's like put, puts elbow on the windowsill. Does like one of these moves. All right, Kappa, come on. You know I know. You know that I know that you know that we know who I am. All right, so if we could just wrap this up. <laughs> I'll say, I'll give you an autograph, send you on your way. How about that? Does that sound good? <laughs> Taste, instant Did you ever arrest. Think that maybe there's more to life than being really, really, really ridiculously good looking. <laughs> That's the, yes, that's the face I would make. <clears throat> the other side. Okay. Can you, can you please get in your vehicle? Oh, Watch out, they may shoot you, even though you're not I don't think you're aware wild. that I'm okay, the no, big, must With be all these snide and entitled comments, she's really not doing herself mm. any favors in the eyes of these cops. And that's not even mentioning the direct insults wait, she starts what? giving. She may even, sh wait, what, wait, what was that line? They may shoot you even though you're not black. What? Chad, they may shoot you even though you're not black. Okay, that was a very racist comment. With all these snide and entire Dude, why do I it's so irritating when people use these cards because it makes the actual problem look bad. It makes the people who are fighting for the right thing look bad. Talk. It's so fucking stupid, man. I, I hate when people do this shit. Like when they when they they pull the card over a basic traffic stop, I get it. Like, ah, uh, you can pull the card when they're being aggressive. That makes fucking sense. But like, you're just pulling the card for nothing. Like, there's no reason. You're just doing it to be like awful. That's all you're doing. And then you're just ruining the actual movement. You know, you're making all of those people who actually are good and make sense and have a good uh 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 motive behind what they're doing. You just make them look bad. You make them look stupid. You know, this is the shit that, that people use to make the, the, the thing look bad. Titled you know? comments, she's really not doing herself any favors in the eyes of these cops. And that's not even mentioning the direct insults she starts giving the cops next. You know your, your alphabet from A to Z, correct? Yes, I know my alphabet from A to Z. Highest level education. I have a. a master's degree. I know my alphabet from A to Z. I have a master's degree. What do you have? Like, shut the, shut up. Shut the fuck up. Shut up. Oh my God. Shut up. Like the way she talks, just bleh. Do news anchors talk like that in real life? There's no way they actually talk like that in real life. Shut up, bitch. Oh my God. Like they're hanging out with their friend at a bar. Hello, friends. I would like to order myself a Bud Light. And if you would so please me to give all of my friends one as well, because I am, of course, a news anchor. Like, what the f- 
What do you have? Okay. Go ahead and stand with your feet together. What did you have? Bachelor of Science. Thank you very much. There we go. Feet together. Hey, high five. We're on the same page. It's okay. Feet together. Arms down at your side. You tried to belittle him, and then he, he fucking shit on you. By saying that he has a bachelor's degree, which, by the way, I want to clarify how bachelor's degree and degrees in general don't mean shit. I mean, look look at this. The dude's a fucking cop. And he has a bachelor's. Like, so lame. Like, my, actually, my, my, my brother-in-law is a cop. And he has a bachelor's. He didn't get a job in the, in, the, in the career that he wanted. This cop didn't get a job in the career he wanted. They're cops. <laughs> lose our hair, we lose the ability to high five. That's right. When I say left or right, you're going to extend that finger out in front of you. You're going to touch the tip of your finger to the tip of your nose. You understand? Yes. Left. Right. Wait, did she actually flip him off? No, she's not. Left. What? No, she's not. Huh? The motion? She's just being an idiot. <clears throat> right. All right. Get your hands behind your back. It's the motion pig? So you're telling me if I went like this? At you, that would be flipping you off, or Ugh! that you 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 would think I'm flipping you off, guys. Do you understand the point of the middle finger in other countries? They do that, yeah. But see, the thing is, I live in America, all right. I don't, I don't give a damn what other countries do. I live in America. In America, we use the middle finger to express our anger, all right? Don't teach me this newfangled pinky finger, first finger shit. I live in America. Placing into the rest for driving under the infant's mouth. Why am I done on the planet? Listen, listen, you have given me indication what? through your road to sobriety task that you are impaired. I'm a cocky son of a gun, but I've passed all these tests. No, hold on. I know I'm cocky, and forgive me for that. Everyone should know that you can't be cocky and flippant and then beg forgiveness when things don't go your way. And the cops are now ready to treat her with exactly the same amount of respect as she showed them. But Farron has one last entitled trick up her sleeve to try uh -oh. and get out of she's this. She's gonna cry. I'm a model citizen. She's gonna cry. Oh man, she's pulling out all the stops. You're making a scene right now in front of an area where I'm on TV. Oh my God, please walk me away. Oh my God, Bush. I'm not a bad person. You're arresting me. And on YouTube now, me. yeah. Wait for my job. Well, I've interviewed your own police <clears throat> chief. Did you have any any of the drinks with her tonight? If it, yeah, if I had a few drinks. Okay. Yeah, of right. course. I mean, look. If, if, there's, if there's there's the evidence, is, you know, DUI, my hands are tied, okay? No. I see her all the time on TV every morning, mm -hmm. okay? That's my main news that I watch, okay? She shouldn't be acting that way. If she's in the public eyes, like us, she should be acting <clears> that way. Okay? True. She started nothing but giving attitude, Thank right? You. I said to her right away. Even Farron's fiance agreed that her behavior was unacceptable and admitted that they had a few drinks that night. So Farron was taken back to the jail to take a breath test where the legal limit is 0 .08 and she blew a 0 .079. She passed by exactly oh! 0 .001%, oh! leaving all charges against her to be- Dude, that, ah, that's crazy, man. Are you sure? Are you sure that wasn't- Are you sure that wasn't tweaked? Man, that, that's so close. Are you sure? I don't know. Dropped, despite it being almost a guarantee that she was over the legal limit. But that's not where the story that ends. That master's degree Originally, came in handy, Originally, she was yeah. dropped from her position on TV during the DUI investigation, but she was quickly taken back when the charges were dropped. However, as soon as this body cam footage was released to the public, she quickly resigned from her position. <clears throat> the silver lining is that Farron didn't try and get violent in her stop. The same can't be said for the next entitled celebrity, a rapper who... Boozy badass. All right, we got to look up. We got to look up some music. Boozy 
badass. This sound like a song from like the early 2000s. He has a he has a song that he just released called Christmas Pussy. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck, dude? Good luck next Tuesday. I hope the audience brings Whoa! a wacky slide. Just a small New Year's gift to my favorite streamer. What the fuck? A hundred dollars? What the fuck? I can't laugh. It has more listens than me. So what? What do you mean? The worst music in the fucking world has more listens than a lot of people. What does it matter? Um, but thank you, Barkin' Mad. Thank you so much. Jesus Christ, that's a lot of money. What the Whose fuck? first thought after being arrested was to assault the police. I'll spit on every fucking nurse in that bitch. I'll make you talk me. On the 7th of July, 2022, rapper Boozy Badass and his friend were pulled over by Georgia police for having a concealed license plate and tinted windows. Initially, the stop started out well, but got out of hand quickly as soon as... Someone put, oh, the dude allegedly hired a sex worker to assault his young son, it seems. Oh, good. The cop decided to lay down the law. Who's the um, registered owner of this car, man? You are? Okay. You got your ID on you, man? So the reason I pulled you over is because you're tag, okay? All right, I'll be right back. Let me check things out, okay? <clears throat> yeah, they're, they're from the party. Okay. Um, I think we should move it over there because we're about to get deep in That's my marijuana right here. Alongside the tent and license plate, the cop also smelled marijuana in the vehicle and decided to detain he don't the want two to be and gay? bring him to a safer True. spot. This is where things started to kick off. I ain't going to have my son gay. I'm just going to hire a prostitute and make him have sex with him. That's not weird. That's not weird. Thank you, Cuddle Fjord. A quick search of the vehicle reveals multiple packages of marijuana and frankly a huge wad of cash. But in the time it takes them to search the whole car, <clears throat> Lucy starts to get mad. Whoa! What do you mean spit on their bodies? Hold up. Yo, is he excited? Is he excited to like get you know frisky in prison? What, what? Why is he talking about spitting on their bodies? God damn! Shit! Fuck! Oh. 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 I'm gonna make you charge me. I'm gonna show you how I get down when I get locked up. I'm gonna show you how I get down. I'm gonna make them be fuck me. Yeah, what did that what did the nurses do? Yeah. Recently obvious. I can deny it no longer. You are not I am small. My fucking teeth off, buddy. And you're gonna get sued like a dog. I'm gonna throw him high, get down, and be off. Why? I'm gonna punch on the first white boy I see in that bitch. I'm gonna get on my damn break. Any nerve, I'm gonna spit on that bitch. This monologue continues the for about fuck is five wrong minutes with this as the guy. cops finish the search of their. He really wants to get in that prison. I don't know. Dude, for a guy that's homophobic, he really hates women. You know what? I wonder, I wonder if since he hates women so bad, but he also doesn't like gay people. So, 
Uh, oh. Oh, I get it now. He's gay. Their car, with Boosie only switching his attention to the officers when they find a packet of pills in his glove compartment. Where are you? Yeah, oh, man, I say that. You may never birth control pills or something for one of my bitches. That's all. Birth control pills or something for my bitches. You know bitches can't get pregnant from me. Yeah, I got a lot of whole sucking in at my house right now. Huh? Yeah. Dude, you know what? I I genuinely feel like dudes who brag about this shit all the time are gay. Like, is it? I don't know. Like, they dudes who just go around and talk about how much puss they get and how how they get their dick sucked and you know all these girls you're having sex with. They have to be gay, right? Like, there's no way. Like, there's no possible way because all of all of those type of people hate women so much. And so they end up like getting good at having sex with women, but they're really angry all the time because they actually just want to have sex with the dude. So sad. It's so sad seeing that shit because I know it probably happens so much. Like dudes who spend their whole lives in denial. They like cry while they're like beaten off to gay porn late at night. <laughs> I'm not like this. I got like 35 whole sucking in my house right now. If anybody Oh shit, I didn't know you were chill like that. Every time they do it's just like what do you expect the cop to do? It's like, "Oh shit, 35 hold up. I didn't know you were chill, bro. I didn't know you were chilling. That's sick, man." Yo, you know what? You're good. They won't they suck let me know. Bitch, I'm gonna fight. I take off the. I, I could fight. I would throw them bitches within the office. All you do is take off their bag and they gun. And I'm gonna throw them bitches with you in the parking lot. I'm like right? Now, obviously, this whole spiel that Boozy is on is an image thing. He knows this all is being recorded, and he's only being rowdy and shouting to make sure his audience knows he's tough. So, despite his early threats, Who, whose dick are they sucking if if they're doing it right now? You know, maybe he's the one sucking. I don't know. Because he's really focusing on the dick sucking. Have you noticed? This to spit at and fight the cops, they decide to handle the situation like this. So, just listen. This is what we're going to do. Listen. 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 All right. I'm going to give you a citation for marijuana. All right? For the smell of marijuana. No, you'll be fine. Calm down the floor, boy. There's, there's some bags up in there, there's two bags. All right, I'll give you um, a citation for less food. That's it. All right, I'll let y'all be on less food. Are we good? Yeah. Okay. All that whining and bitching for nothing, dude. Like, that's so stupid. The fact that they got a citation is crazy. I just need y'all to relax now, okay? If you let me go, just let me go. I'm going, I'm going to file charges right now. I'll be okay. And it's as simple as that. The pair were sent on their way with a citation for the obscured license plate and marijuana. And nobody was hurt in this dangerously rowdy situation. But if Boosie's case was a rowdy one, wow. Marshawn Lynch's was probably as far in the other direction as you could go. <laughs> the cops found him literally asleep at the wheel. Still sleeping? Yeah. Cops found former Seattle Seahawks player Marshawn sleeping in his car that was in undrivable condition. The side wheel had no what rim or fuck? tire, and the passenger side tires were about to fall off. Officers could smell the alcohol in the vehicle, and given the state of both Marshawn and his car, had to assume that he'd been driving under the influence, had an accident, and then fell asleep at the wheel. However, the officers couldn't investigate any further if he didn't get out of the car, which Marshawn refused to do. Okay, hold on. Did you run it? Live in? Yeah. Morning. How are you? Is this your car? It's not your car? Oh, whose car is it? Did you steal the car? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we said you don't know whose car it is. Just asking. 
<laughs> right now, the officers are at a complete loss. They've really got no idea how the car could have gotten into this state, and Marshawn is in a state that's honestly just confusing. As you may expect, the majority of this footage isn't the most exciting, so let's just skip to when the cops decide they've had enough and take matters into their own hands. So here's the thing, okay? Right now, if you don't get out of the vehicle, you're gonna be charged with obstructing an investigation. That is a criminal offense, and you will go to jail. What kind of obstruction? Obstructing. What kind of obstruction? Yeah, we're not going to There's not here. different kinds. There's what? only one kind. <clears throat> okay, I do have a question, though. He's parked. Right? Like, he's parked. They, did, they didn't see him wreck. They didn't see him drive. So, like... I don't understand. I mean, that is true. I mean, I'm I'm saying, okay, I'm not saying after, obviously, after he said that it's not his car, I get that. But, like, I don't know. Yeah, he did say he stole it. I mean, yeah, that's true. <clears throat> Some places it's illegal to sleep in your car. I mean, he did sleep with, like, the fucking doors open, it looked like. I mean, I don't know. Maybe they opened the doors, but I don't know. <clears throat> okay, because I've already explained it to you. Failing to obey a command by an officer of lawful order is obstructing. That's so this is your last chance. Step out of the vehicle for us. Everything is understandable. Okay. So if you understand, go ahead and step out for us. Is why will I not be pulled out? There we go. All right. Go to get on your stomach. Roll over. Hands behind your back. He does smell like alcohol. Oh, I beef smell. Yep. Yeah. When Marshawn decided not to get out himself, the best option was to just help him out a little. He was then taken back to jail and charged with DUI drive. That was aggressive. What, dude? You 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 hyped up this video to the very end, and the last was like. You'll never believe what happens next. He just flopped on the floor and they handcuffed him. That was that was the most chill arrest I've ever seen. Like, <laughs> nothing happened, dude. Driving an unregistered vehicle <clears throat> and failure to drive in the travel lanes. What? The case is still ongoing and hasn't even gone to trial yet, with Marshawn pleading not guilty to each of his alleged crimes. If you enjoy true crime videos like this? Yeah, that last one was just weird. I don't know. That last one was just weird. Now it's time to walk away. I hope you enjoyed your stay. Did you laugh or cry or maybe subscribe? I'll thank you either way. You know I will miss you. I hope you return. Tell your friend or your mother to get me more views, please.